Okay, welcome back to the boat shop. Um, here we have, uh, if you saw my previous video, or maybe I'll even put the two together. Um, this is a, was underneath here, this is a plug that is to be a uh, cowling for an eight scale nitro powered hydroplane that hides underneath that cover right there. Uh, so we, uh, we sprayed PVA in our last video, and now um, I am boldly and probably unwisely going to uh, show the releasing of this mold from the plug, if all goes well. For this process here, wear your good gloves, darn it. Um, these little glass fibers now, uh, the ones that are still remaining and sticking out are the most awesome little glass slivers and you haven't lived until you've had glass slivers stuck in your hands and your arms and stuff. Uh, I rip through a lot of gloves when I do this. I use the cheapy stuff just to protect myself while I'm laying tons and tons of glass. Mix small quantities by the way or you're gonna throw away a ton of it. Fiberglass resin blows off really really quick. Uh, I'm gonna wear good gloves now. Heavier gloves because I don't want to get stuck all over the place. Since I didn't show it to you, uh, the actual layup here, um, I use a, uh, a real thin, a three-quarter ounce surfacing veil mat for my first layer. And you might be able to tell here I double it up, uh, certainly overlap, but it's doubled up in many areas. Uh, I've especially reinforced this area here because I'm really worried about successfully popping a product, and in fact the plug, out of this mold. Because this is a pretty deep area here um, for this rear wing, and it's not going to want to release easily, I don't think. Like I said, there's the boldness in the video. You'll see some air bubbles here. Uh, I was trying to be very careful, that's what the veil is all about, uh, is to create a bubble free layer very close to the part. Uh, first there is a gel coat and then this surfacing veil. This is what I use for what it's worth. Uh, it's a TAP plastics product. Uh, I put a, a dab of, uh, of pigment in it because I think it's pretty and it helps you see it. Um, this is just kind of a brownish uh, tan color and put their catalyst in it and away you go. There's two layers. Uh, the, I apply it with uh, oh those cheap foam uh, painting brushes. Uh, remember there's PVA on here first. PVA is a very thin fragile layer of release compound and if you uh, uh, oh I thought I had some other brushes out here. If you uh, hit it with um, uh, you know, this style of brush, you, you could actually tear the layer, so it seems like the foam brushes are a little bit more kind uh, for applying the, uh, uh, the gel coat, but of course you could spray it. Uh, I, I don't do that, haven't done that. Uh, I'll figure it out someday. It, it's a very, very thick, uh, very viscous material. Uh, probably take a bigger gun than I have to spray it, or I'm sure it can be thinned. Uh, just haven't done so. Uh, here's the brushes. Uh, get these super cheap things for applying the fiberglass. And uh, I tend to cut them off because uh, they're as is. The end bristles are real long and flimsy and don't really apply fiberglass very well, so I cut them the way I want them. Speaking of fiberglass, I'm a fan of this. Simple, relatively inexpensive, easy. Uh, very consistent to mix, but boy does it move fast. Cut all your stuff, get all your stuff ready to go. Uh, if I'm going to wet out, I like doing it on uh, aluminum foil. Seems to work well. Kind of stays in place. Don't try to wet out your veil. This stuff will just fall apart. So you're going to apply your resin right to the part. And then, uh, and then lay the veil on it, work it in. Uh, then I move to a heavier ounce and a half, I think, 
uh, glass and make several layers. Uh, make a ton of layers if you want. You can't put on too much. You can definitely put on too little. Uh, this one I went a little bit lighter than I normally would just because I just don't think it's necessary to have a lot more. After we get it popped, we'll cut this edge, trim it real nice, kind of design the plug with a nice edge. And that's an overhang of about a three-quarter inch from where the actual part needs to be. Uh, you'll see it here in a minute. If it comes out. All right, without further ado, let me, uh, let me mount this camera and we'll, we'll give it a go live, in person. Who else could be so foolish as to record a live revealing of a questionable part? I told you on the other video that, I, that I, there are there's some pinholes and little minor defects here and there in the plug. And uh, I've, I just wanted to see if it would release well and how it would turn out. It's, it's probably really dumb to experiment with with it like that, but but I'm going to try it. Uh, let's pop it. I picture this coming out easier if I come this direction, but I also picture this end as the easiest one to at least get it released. Oh, look at that. Okay. Does indeed move. Oh, did you hear that? I don't know if you could hear that on there. You hear little snaps. That's it releasing from the plug. A couple more snaps. I may break the nose off the plug here. Don't care. Oh! I did not see that coming. This is what we like to refer to is, as a flawless result. No one is more surprised than this guy. That's going to work. I could have gone heavier on the gel coat, see it would have been prettier. But what we have is a really nice looking surface. Uh, it looks like, okay, it picked up a little bit of the wax here. And we're gonna pull that off. And what we have is a wonderful part. Picked up a little bit of wax around here, which is absolutely fine. The wax did its job. It stayed there and filled the little defects that I had around the edge. Now this part, once it's laid, you know, of course, I'll trim this off now so that we have just a mold without all this excess. I'll add some feet to it so it'll stand real nice. I know, so it'll hold still while we lay it up. But when we lay it up, we're going to go over this edge just a little ways. And then when the finished part is done, it'll be similar to this. We'll cut it along here, and it should release just as well as that did from this mold. Uh, and we will be using the part that we use fits along this edge right here. This nose extra here all comes off because this will wrap around the front of the uh, the boat. Let me show you. Hang tight. Here's our boat, and that nose will just wrap around here. The rest of that framework should, the flange should drop right in this area here. Okay, so that's what's supposed to happen. So far, so good. Beautiful little mold. Thanks for watching. Look for M5 Performance Hydroplanes on Facebook for more cool stuff.